Kelly. We're down here, Leichhardt, Leichhardt rowing, centre behind us. But over there is Leichhardt Oval. Tell me about this area here in Planet Leichhardt Oval. Yeah, I think um, not being a, a local a local junior, you, you hear about the hype a bit um, and playing there. When I, I got that first that first chance to play there last year, yeah, it was unreal. Ah, uh, don't you love your Sunday afternoon footy? Leichhardt Oval, big crowd. Eisenhuth. <laughs> Caught by Tom Trebojevic. Take you back to 2014, career changing, even life changing. You had a sore knee, tell me what happened. Yeah, so I was coming back from a, a shoulder reconstruction. Um, I was playing for Penrith at the time. I was just doing my, my standard rehab and every, every so often um, I'd go out to run and, and my leg would be sore. You know, I have a little bit of a pain behind my knee. Yeah, I went to the, to the doctor the next day um, and yeah, he told me that I had a, a giant cell tumour in my leg, about the size of a golf ball. You know, footy for now was on hold, basically. For me to hear that, where footy has been my life for so long, you know, and I hadn't even and cracked where I wanted to be, hadn't cracked first grade yet, it was life shattering. What did you think straight away when he said tumour? Yeah, it sort of just, life sort of stopped, I guess. Um, I was just in, in shock, complete shock. I was in tears in with a doctor and then couldn't even gain up the courage to, to call my parents to let them know. I, I tried calling Holly. I couldn't even get the words out to her, I don't think. Um, I just said it's, it's not good and then she ended up calling them and rushing home to, to see me. Yeah, I met him at home and he was upstairs in his room. I just gave him a big cuddle and told him it was going to be okay. Like, yeah, we, we can do anything and we'll just take anything on that comes our way kind of thing. Within the first couple of days, I'd had lots of tests and scans on my body and nothing had spread. It was just in the one spot. They cut it out of my leg, which happened pretty quickly within a few weeks. It was probably after surgery, you know, once it came back benign, we'll see how we go with the, the rehab and we'll see if footy can happen again. It must have been so hard. Mm. It was. It makes you sort of formed, helped our relationship, I reckon, I think. I think so too, Sort yeah. of probably made me realise that she was, you know, she goes through that with me, like, she's pretty rock solid. So Ivan Cleary has blooded some fresh faces towards the back half of this season. One of them is this man, Matt Eisenhuth. Round 15 last year against your cousin, Paul Gowan, yeah. against the Sharks. Just talk me through your debut, everything. Your... The debut against him, you probably go up dreaming like, oh, you know, that, that could be a chance, it could be a chance, but for it to actually happen, um, it was pretty special. Just come together, just tackle each other? Or... I haven't said it to him, but I got one over him. Did you? Well, I, little, we'll say it to him now. A little, a little, tip, on, a little tip on to Elijah Taylor early on, he sort of bit in on me and yeah. that was one of my first touches in first grade, you know, so, um, little try assist, so. Eisenhuth again. Now a bit of ball playing for Taylor! Did you ever think about never playing again? I'd be lying if I, say, if I said I didn't, but in saying that, it was always in the back of my mind. I just wanted an opportunity to sort of play again. I would have been happy to go back and just play A-grade footy with my two brothers. It was just more about not being out, like not being able to play footy again would have hurt. Once the doctor said there's no reason why I couldn't, you know, I was I was always going to give it a crack. Did you ever imagine you'd get to be playing regular first grade in a, in a team near up the top of the table? Life's about that. You get the opportunity. Um, you take it, and I think, you know, I got the opportunity, I took it, and yeah, it's just been going up since then. Matt Eisenhuth gets across the line.